Hey there, cat lovers. Today we're gonna dive into a topic that's near and dear to my heart the truth about keeping caracal cats as pets. These exotic felines may look striking and alluring, but the reality is they make absolutely terrible household companions. I'm gonna share 7 crucial reasons why you should think twice before bringing a caracal into your home. By the end of this video, I hope I can convince you that these wild cats belong in professional zoo or sanctuary environments, not as private pets. Let's get started. The first and perhaps most important reason not to get a caracal is their incredible difficulty and expense to properly care for. Caracals are not domesticated animals, they are true wild cats with extremely specific needs that are almost impossible for the average person to meet. Unlike your typical house cat, caracals require a massive, complex enclosure that provides ample vertical space, sophisticated hiding and climbing structures, and specialized environmental enrichment. We're talking an enclosure the size of a small bedroom at minimum, and that's just for starters. Caracals also have very particular dietary requirements, needing a species-appropriate raw meat diet that can cost upwards of $5,000 per year. The time commitment is also immense. Caring for a caracal is essentially a full-time job, with hours of daily hands-on work required to keep them healthy and stimulated. Even the most experienced exotic animal owners often struggle to provide everything a caracal needs. Another major issue is the sheer power and unpredictability of caracal cats. These felines are true apex predators, capable of taking down prey much larger than themselves. Fully grown, a caracal can weigh up to 40 pounds and jump up to 10 feet high. Their razor-sharp claws and lightning-fast reflexes make them incredibly dangerous, even to their owners. Caracal attacks can cause catastrophic injuries, and tragically there have been cases of these wild cats killing their human caretakers. Proper training and handling is essential, but there's always an inherent risk with these animals. No amount of socialization can truly domesticate a caracal, their wild nature will always be present. Living with a caracal is like playing Russian roulette, and the stakes are your safety. Speaking of their wild nature, caracals are also notoriously difficult to bond with on a personal level. Unlike domestic cats that form strong social attachments, caracals are naturally solitary and territorial animals. No matter how much time and effort you pour into socializing a caracal, they will never truly see you as a member of their family, the way a regular house cat would. In fact, caracals are known to be highly unpredictable, moody, and prone to aggressive outbursts, even towards their longtime owners. One day they may seem calm and affectionate, the next they could lash out unexpectedly. This emotional volatility makes caracals incredibly risky and unreliable as pets. You can never fully let your guard down or trust that they won't turn on you. Another major headache with caracals is their incredible destructiveness. These are not the kind of cats that will simply scratch a little on the furniture now and then. Caracals have incredibly powerful claws that can shred through just about any material, from upholstery to hardwood floors. They will systematically destroy your home, leaving behind a trail of torn up carpets, ripped curtains, and wrecked furniture. Caracal proofing a living space is an endless and expensive battle. You'd have to reinforce every inch of your home to withstand their relentless predatory behaviors. And even then, you'd have to keep a close eye on them at all times to prevent catastrophic damage. The cost of repairs and replacements can add up to thousands of dollars. Speaking of cost, the medical care for a caracal is another huge financial burden to consider. These exotic felines have highly specialized health care needs that most regular veterinarians are simply not equipped to handle. Finding an exotic animal vet who is knowledgeable and willing to treat a caracal can be incredibly difficult, and the bills can be astronomical. Routine vet visits, vaccinations, dental cleanings, and any medical issues that arise can easily cost thousands of dollars per year. Caracals are also prone to certain health problems like kidney disease and dental issues that require intensive, lifelong management. The cost of providing proper medical care for a caracal throughout its 15-20 year lifespan can easily reach six figures. Another major concern is the legal status of caracal ownership. The rules and regulations surrounding these exotic felines vary widely by location. In many areas, it is completely illegal to own a caracal without the proper licensing, permits, and inspections. And in some places, owning one is banned outright, with heavy fines or even criminal charges for those caught in violation. 
It's crucial to thoroughly research the laws where you live before even considering a caracal. Thinking you can just secretly keep one as a pet is a recipe for disaster. Authorities take these regulations very seriously, and being caught with an illegal exotic pet can have severe consequences. It's simply not worth the risk. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, caracals do not make good pets for the vast majority of people, even those with extensive exotic animal experience. These are highly specialized animals that require an expert level of care, resources, and commitment that 99% of households simply cannot provide. Caracals belong in secure, accredited zoo or sanctuary environments, not in private homes. Bringing a caracal into your family is not only incredibly irresponsible, but also unethical. These are wild predators, not domesticated companions. No matter how much you may love them, a caracal will never truly be a member of your household in the way a regular house cat would. Acquiring one as a pet is a selfish act that prioritizes your desires over the well-being of the animal. In conclusion, while caracal cats may seem alluring and exciting, the reality is they make absolutely terrible pets. The difficulties, risks, and costs of caring for these wild felines far outweigh any potential benefits of owning one. If you truly love exotic cats, I would strongly encourage you to appreciate them from a distance by visiting accredited zoos or sanctuaries. But for your own safety, your wallet's sake, and most importantly, the well-being of the animal do not attempt to keep a caracal as a pet. Thanks for watching, and I hope I've given you some valuable insight into why these majestic creatures belong in the wild, not in our homes.